Okay, so today we're talking about investment options that give you an ROI of eight to 30%. So this is just one of the options. Of course, doesn't mean there's no other ones that we could do, but this is one I'm gonna take. And this is building a duplex. What I love about this, and I've been helping several investors recently do this, is there are so many different situations that you could put yourself. Let's say you wanna build a duplex and you live up north, you're freezing cold and you wanna come down to Florida. Build a duplex, stay in one side, rent out the other side, and then that side pays for your Florida home so you can enjoy the Florida weather without having to spend extra money. So that's one side. Now, obviously that would be a lower rate of return because they're more or less just paying for you to stay there. Plus you're gonna get a couple hundred dollars a month extra for them to stay there. So, and that's if you did a mortgage as well. Now, the way you're gonna make even more money is of course building a duplex and renting both sides out. Um, rent here in Florida right now is so high. Everyone's looking for a place to rent, which obviously is bringing that value up. So that's something tremendous. You're gonna get an even higher rate of return. However, another thing that is becoming more and more popular is you hear Airbnb rentals and you know VRBO rentals, these short vacation rentals. Again, we have the luxury of living in Florida, which makes it much more possible to do something just like this. And those have about three to 4% higher rate of return. And I should say three or four times more than just a regular rental. So there's a lot of different options. I'm gonna give you some theories and some facts to kind of back all of that up, but that's what I'm gonna throw at you today. So as you guys know, my name is Savannah Shepard, owner and broker of Vision Realty. I'm so glad you've come here to join me today. If you know of anyone looking to buy a home, sell a house, invest in real estate, or get their real estate license and start their real estate career, I would love the opportunity to talk with them and meet with them. Otherwise, let's get to the good stuff. So when it comes to investing and purchasing a duplex, the first step you're gonna to wanna to do to figure out your rate of return are, of course, what can you purchase a duplex for? If you are in Charlotte, Lee, DeSoto, Sarasota, any of those surrounding counties, you already know it is very, very hard to come by a duplex and to purchase it. They are very hard to come by. If you have them, you're not wanting to sell them, and I understand why. But at the same time, what I suggest is I do have a builder that I have contracted and he has given me the best rates right now. I can get a duplex built for about 360 in a really good area. And that's a three bedroom, two bath. You're over uh, 1600 square feet, I believe. It's a nice size duplex, very good shape. Of course, it's brand new. Um, so that's about what I can have them built for. Now that's the best price I've seen and that can be built in all of those surrounding areas. 360, which obviously is gonna put you even less per side. Now at 360, one thing that we do have a luxury at is using that Airbnb and VRBO because of our location. We're close to the beach, we're close to different parks and things like that, and besides we live in Florida and everyone wants to be here. So it gives you a lot of different options to be able to net the most money. I suggest if you can't find a property, which is common, having it built. You can build it for 360. You can rent it out for about 1400 per side. If you do the math, it's obviously 2800 a month, which is much more than what your mortgage is gonna be. A mortgage payment on about 360, you're gonna be closer to about 1200. So obviously 280 to 1200, even if you don't pay cash and you do have to get a mortgage on it, you're making quite a bit more than what your actual mortgage is. And that's where your rate of return comes into play. 1400 is gonna be a rate for a traditional annual rental. Now, whether it's one side or two sides, 1400, both sides is obviously 2800. That's gonna be your lowest tier and that still gives you about 8% ROI. At the same time, it is your lowest tier, so there are other options. Another option is you could do a seasonal rental. Um, if you are not gonna be in there whatsoever and you have no interest of staying in the property, it's much better to do an annual rental because season rentals do require the house to be furnished. And that's obviously gonna be extra outgo at the beginning. Third option is doing an Airbnb or a VRBO. Now, if you have a little more time and you don't mind spending it with an Airbnb and VRBO, as you've seen, I'm sure my last video that I did, not last one, a couple of videos ago, it will tell you exactly what is in play with an Airbnb it's gonna be a little more. You have to schedule, of course, everyone that wants to stay, you have to make sure it's cleaned, you have to make sure when they get there at midnight and say, I can't find the keys anywhere, I don't remember what the code is, 
You gotta pick up your phone and help them get into the house. There's a little more maintenance there. However, the reward is higher because it's about three to four times more that you get for an Airbnb and um, you know VRBO, they're, they're the same thing. A vacation rental is a little higher. Generally, you're renting it for about a week, maybe two weeks, and they're gonna pay quite a bit more than if they were to stay there for a month. So what you really have to look at is say, okay, the rate of return is highest on an Airbnb, a VRBO. How much time do you have? If you have enough time that you can put into it, I encourage you to do that. If you don't, well then obviously your best bet is gonna be going with an annual rental. That is where you get the 8% at an annual rental, minimum 8%, and it goes all the way up to 30%. I have several investors that all do Airbnbs on everything, and that's about where their rate is. Phenomenal. If you guys are interested in this, um, it's certainly a phenomenal investment for our area. We still have land available. The land is hard to come by, but if you are interested, I can certainly be looking for you and send you some pieces of land that are still out there that we could build a duplex on. That's one thing. It does have to be zoned a little bit differently than other land and other lots. However, it's still out there and that's something we can get. So very, I mean, high, high demand. I have someone else that rents these out for me, already all set up. She has a very low fee and she rents them out. And her and I were talking yesterday and she said, Savannah, I need more. I need more of them built because I have a long list of people that are wanting to rent them and stay there, but they do not have the time or money, obviously, to build it for themselves and they can't find any inventory whatsoever. So if it's something that you have a little extra money, a little extra cash, you don't need to pay for it all in cash. You could just put a down payment, about 20% down. If you are interested whatsoever, let me know. Um, it is a phenomenal investment. You are definitely gonna get a rate of return. Plus you're buying real estate. So if you did sell in the 15 years, you'll make even more money on selling it. I just love, I love the possibilities that real estate gives you. So many different aspects. Anyway, put a comment below. Let me know if you'd like any more details. I have, this is just a small video to give you some of that information and give, keep it in mind as an investment opportunity. But at the same time, any other details that you want, any other questions, comment below or even comment anyone's name that you want to see this video and it might be a good option for them too. So I hope that's helpful. Like I say, any questions, let me know. Otherwise, you guys have a phenomenal rest of your week and I will see you soon.